now. You get personal. Say, you have one. Oh, Come on, say, death could not hold death you. We declare that you're seated in majesty. Hi friends, thank you for watching that video. Obviously I'm not much of a dancer. I did dance when I was little, but I just wanted to move this morning. When I woke up this morning, the fog was lifting from the grass and the sun was trying to peek through it and I just couldn't help but feel the presence of the Lord just saying, I am victorious. I am peeking through the hardest times so many of the people in this country have ever faced. He is speaking to us through this coronavirus um, and through the changes and the challenges that it's brought on so many, including myself and all the people that I work with. Um, but this morning as I was looking outside, I, I couldn't help but just hear him saying, I am the victory and I am the victory that everyone needs. So this morning, I uh, wanted to share a couple of scriptures. I'm not very eloquent or good with words, but the good thing is that God gave us his word, and his words are clear, his words are perfect, and his words get directly to our hearts. So I'm going to read from 1 John chapter 5, where he talks about overcoming the world. And this is especially for those who believe, um, but it's also a message for those who don't. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God, and everyone who loves the Father loves whoever has been born of him. By this we know that we love the children of God, when we love God and obey his commandments. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. I think it's so easy to 
not understand what it means to overcome with our faith because faith is something that is not always tangible, but it's something in our hearts, it's something in our lives, it's something that we we live out on a day-to-day -day basis. It's, it's our belief, it's our trust, our hope in Christ, in what he did by coming to the cross and freeing us from our sin, which is the root of all problems in the world. And then I'm also going to read from Romans 5. Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, we have also obtained access by faith into this grace in which we stand, and we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Not only that, but we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character. Character produces hope, and hope does not put us to shame. Because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. For while we were still weak, at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. <sighs> I hope that this gives you hope this morning as much as it gives me hope. God is calling us to endure, to rejoice in our suffering. And the suffering that we face is incomparable to the glory that awaits the children of God for eternity in heaven. Whether it be the suffering that we're facing through COVID-19 or the incredible persecution that's happening with our brothers and sisters all over the rest of the world. Um, it's our charge to remember the victory that we have in Christ Jesus and our charge to endure, to grow, to mature to know his word, to put it in our hearts, hide it away, and let him use it. So thank you for watching, and thank you for um, being who God has called you to be. I challenge you, as I challenge myself, to get up and move, whether it be dancing or um, some form of creative expression, or if it's just getting up and getting up in the sense that you're going to let your faith stand today to put your shield up against the arrows of the enemy. He is trying to come against us, and God has given us a greater tool. He's given us his words, and that is how we can make it through whatever this season holds for our worlds. Um, so make it through with grace, with love, with justice, with kindness. So... That's my challenge to us and to myself, but also to you. Thank you again so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Oh, you